Yo, what's up, movie buffs? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're jamming to the reggae rhythms of Bob Marley, One Love. This movie takes us on a reggae-fueled adventure through the life and vibes of the legendary Bob Marley. I'm gonna discuss the musical performance in the movie because that's a very, very important part of telling the story of such an influential person in the music world like Bob Marley. I'm gonna talk about Kingsley Benadir and what I think about that accent. I'm gonna get into what was going on in the world and more specifically, what was going on in Jamaica at that time. And of course, I'm gonna share my overall score for the movie on a scale of one to 10. So I'm gonna kick things off with a quick synopsis uh, for all of you who don't know. Bob Marley, One Love, it dives into the life of the reggae icon, exploring his journey from Jamaica to global stardom. Let's take a trip down reggae memory lane to that time when Bob Marley was cooking up some musical magic for his iconic album, Exodus. So picture this, it's the 1970s, Jamaica's sun is blazing, there's lots of civil unrest, and Marley's vibes are hotter than a Jamaican summer. As he dove into creating Exodus, Marley wasn't just making music, he was creating a cultural revolution, one beat at a time. But it wasn't always that sunshine and spliffs. Marley faced his fair share of challenges from political turmoil to personal demons. Yet amidst the chaos, Exodus emerged as a beacon of hope, a musical manifesto for freedom and for unity from the anthemic title track to the soul-stirring Three Little Birds, Marley's music transcended genres, languages, and borders, spreading the message of love and redemption to every corner of the globe. He was the biggest star of the time. From the streets of Kingston to the studios of London, Marley's journey was a whirlwind of passion, inspiration, and that ganja-infused creativity. With his signature dreadlocks swaying to the rhythm, Marley poured his heart and soul into every track, blending reggae beats with profound lyrics that spoke to the struggles and the triumphs of his people. So let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into the good. Now, I'm just going to get to the oxtail and plantains of what I know some of you want to know. Let me tell you, the musical performances and Bob Marley One Love are off the charts. Like, they did a really good job at making you feel what it's like being front row at a Bob Marley concert. Like you feel the rhythm and you feel the energy and it's like electrifying the air. Every strum of the guitar, every beat of the drum, it's pure magic that transport you to another place. The music isn't just background noise, it's the heartbeat of the film. It's driving the narrative forward and it's infusing every scene with emotion and with soul. It's like each song tells a story, a testament to Marley's legacy, and it's the universal language of music. When Kingsley Benadir takes the stage, it's wow, it's mesmerizing. He commands the crowd with his presence, channeling Marley's charisma and passion in a way that's nothing short of stunning. So, big props to the musical performances and Bob Marley One Love for capturing the essence of Marley's music and reminding us of the power it holds to inspire, to uplift, and unite us all. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the brother Kingsley Benadir. This dude's like a human chameleon, channeling Bob Marley's vibes with every spin and groove. This dude didn't just play the part, he became the essence of Marley, channeling that quiet, yet powerful lion energy that defined the reggae legend. From the way he moved to the rhythm, to the subtle twinkle in his eye, Benadir captured Marley's essence with finesse and authenticity. This dedication is next level. Seriously, I forgot he wasn't the real deal. You can feel it in every scene, man. Like, Benadir's portrayal of Marley is a masterclass in understated coolness capturing the quiet intensity that made Marley such a magnetic figure. Whether he's strumming his guitar or dropping pearls of wisdom, Benadir's presence on screen is magnetic, and it draws us into Marley's world with every word and every gesture. It's like he's speaking directly to our hearts, reminding us of the power of music, the power of love, and the power of revolution. So. Big ups to Kingsley Benadir for bringing Marley's spirit to life in a way that's as authentic as it gets. One love, brother. And don't even get me started on Lashana Lynch, right? She came to 
slay as Rita Marley. Her dedication? Pure magic, my friend. She sprinkled some stardust on the screen and voila, Rita Marley came alive. It, it, her performance, like her dedication shines through, adding so much depth and authenticity to the film story that we truly need. And if you watch any of the behind the scenes, you'll see the rest of the cast talk about her presence too. She is, she is the glue to this movie, similar to how Rita Marley was the glue to Bob Marley. You can tell director Ronaldo Marcus Green's vision comes to life, exploring those themes of identity, leadership, and partnership with finesse. Now, I know we was talking about the good, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows, so let's keep it real for a minute and let's talk about the bad. Now, while Bob Marley One Love brought the vibes, there were some moments where the accents felt like they were playing hopscotch all over the place. I mean, we're talking about the heart and soul of Jamaica here, and when that accents aren't hitting the mark, it's like a scratch in a vinyl record. You can't help but notice it. Jamaican culture runs deep and Jamaican people are proud of their heritage, including their dialect. So when it's not represented authentically on screen, it's like a disservice to the culture and the people who hold it dear. Let's be real. Jamaican Patois, it's not easy. It isn't, it isn't even a language. It's, it's really broken English, but it is a way of life. It's the rhythm of the streets, the heartbeat of the people. And when it's not portrayed accurately, it's like a missed beat in a reggae song. Jamaican people have a keen eye for authenticity and they're not afraid to call out when something doesn't sound right. So when the accents and Bob Marley One Love feel more like caricatures than genuine representations, it's like a sour note in an otherwise sweet melody. Authenticity matters, especially when it comes to honoring the legacy of a cultural icon like Bob Marley. Now, something else was the symbolism, and I want to dive into the deeper currents of Bob Marley One Love. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all about unraveling those layers of meaning in a film. But sometimes it felt like trying to decipher hieroglyphics with no guide. One of the trickiest parts to follow was the imagery surrounding Bob's father, a figure he never really knew. Now, don't get me wrong, the concept is deep. It's about Bob's emotional journey, his growth, his struggle with identity, but man, trying to follow that imagery throughout the movie was, it's, it's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. It's elusive, it's, it's frustrating, and it, you know, let's face it, when the central narrative thread feels like it's slipping through your fingers, it's hard to stay fully, fully engaged in that part of the story. But, you know, overall, in the end, Bob Marley One Love, it's not just another flick. It's a movie, it's a whole vibe, it's a rhythm that pulses through your soul long after the credits roll. Sure, it stumbles here and there like a dancer finding their foot in on a crowded dance floor, but beneath the surface, it, it's got the heart. That heart, that unmistakable Marley spirit. It's a love letter to the legend, a tribute to the man whose music still echoes through the streets of Jamaica and beyond. So whether you're jamming to One Love for the hundredth time or just discovering Marley's magic, Bob Marley One Love isn't just a movie, it's an experience. You know, it's a celebration of a man whose music continues to unite the hearts and minds across the globe. I want you to sit down and enjoy this as comfortably as possible. So my overall score, I'm going to give Bob Marley One Love a strong 8.5 out of 10. So there you have it, fam. Bob Marley One Love is more than just a film. It's a vibe, a journey, a celebration of one of music's greatest legends. Despite its bumps and quirks, it's a heartfelt tribute to the man who brought reggae to the world stage. Whether you're a diehard Marley fan or just curious about his story, this flick is worth the watch. So grab your crew, kick back, let the rhythms of Marley's music wash over you. Until next time, stay blessed, stay groovy, and keep spreading that love. Peace. Thank you so very much. Hi. Uh, Anthony White with the movie blog. <laughs> I am so excited to speak with you again. I had the honor to speak with you at 
the end of the We Own This City rent carpet, where you were kind enough to speak with me and my Jamaican brother about that project, but also about this Bob Marley movie. Now, we shared about how proud, you know, Jamaicans are with their culture and how it's reflected in film, specifically with the Jamaican accent. Can you share any insights into how you navigated the challenge of, you know, like one, portraying authentic Jamaican accents while two, ensuring accessibility for a diverse audience? Like, how did you work with the actors to strike a balance? Yeah, that that's that was the biggest challenge of the film was language, uh, for sure. Language was everything. But, you know, if you watch a video of Bob online, you understand him. You may not understand every word, but you get it. Um, and you understand where he's coming from. And so uh, it was important to find that balance, you know, and, and not water it down. Um, I felt like the more specific we were, the more universal the film became. And so we leaned into that. Uh, and whether we had to subtitle the film or not, that was something that I knew that it was possible. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we weren't, we weren't watering down the language. Uh, I think that would have done a disservice to Bob, his story, his message. Um, and we worked tirelessly to make that happen. We had dialect coaches, we had linguists on set, you know, we had, we had family members on set because it wasn't just about Pachwa, it was Bob Pachwa, it was just its own language. Bob spoke differently. And so, yeah, it just, it, it took a community of folks to make sure that we got it right. But ultimately we we're making a movie, a cinematic experience. And it's something that you feel something that you feel when you watch a movie you sink into that and then you embrace it and if you allow yourself to embrace it then you have an emotional experience and hopefully we 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 landed in that pocket and i apologize i should have started off thank you thank you i watched the film and i, I and i was i had my critical eye on thank you i really appreciate that care awesome. the movie it also dives into bob's personal struggles with like relationships now, how did you approach depicting these intimate moments while, you know, also respecting the privacy of Bob's family and legacy? Yeah, look, it, it was figuring out what the core message of our movie was, right? We're making a celebration about Bob's life. We have two hours, two and a half hours to do it. What are the moments that we're going to pick? I wanted the moments to focus on Bob's musical legacy and journey. And then what were the things that happened in his life to help complicate those things uh, on a personal level? Um, you know, and, and those are the things that we wanted to capture within the period of time that we could. And we, fo we, cho we chose to focus on 1976 to 1978 uh, and those moments in his life. Now, we couldn't go into every detail, as you know, you can't do in every film. Um, but hopefully we gave enough that showed you a complex portion of, uh, you know, portrait of a man. Uh, a man that struggled deeply, um, you know, in his life, growing up poor, abject poverty, absentee father, uh, homeless, um, and then rose to be one of the greatest musicians to ever do it. Um, that was the focus of our film. Um, and then, yeah, of course, we, 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 we wanted to show the complexity of what, what happens to a man on that journey. And hopefully we, uh, hopefully we, we found the right balance. Thank you so much. Um, Finally, what, what do you hope audiences, you know, both longtime fans and newcomers to Marley's music like this, this is going to bring some new fans. What are you hoping they take away from this? I think it'll be different for everybody. But, you know, Bob was saying Bob was singing to unify people, man. The message of peace, love, unity. It's critical, man. It's critical that we listen. Um, you know, I, I felt like I heard Bob's music dozens of times, hundreds of dozens of times before. And never really never really understood the lyrics in the way that i do now so i hope the film brings us closer to the lyrics which brings us closer to the man and understanding where he was coming from what he was singing for um and i and it makes you love him even more even more thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it i hope to speak to you again thank you so much ronaldo all right my man have a great day. thank you Thank you.